Tokyo station now. We're going to see our accountant business stuff. Okay, that's a steep staircase. Okay, we're done. We, here you can see a binder for company uh, income and expense. I have some experience running a company in Poland and I must say the very basics are pretty much the same in Japan. It's not as different and weird and exotic as you might expect. There are just a lot more stamps here. I always have a feeling that the Tokyo station area feels like Chicago. It does. Do you agree? Yeah, the architecture here is kind of similar to Chicago. Like all these gray, cold buildings. That very are kind straight, of cool. very straight. And the streets are bigger. There's more room between the buildings and you can kind of see them more. Underneath Tokyo Station there lies a geek, kawaii, funny paradise that is this area. Have you ever owned a Tamagotchi? Yeah, I did. It's kind of boring. My mom used the fact that my Tamagotchi died as reasoning why I can't have a dog. I think that this design of Pikachu is only available in this um, store. I got you another gacha gacha. This thing is a cat. Yeah. Since you guys are interested in Japan, you probably know there's a lot of mascots in Japan. And every mascot has its own set of merchandise. So on this underground street underneath Tokyo Station, you can see all the specialty stores with mascot merchandise. It's really cute. I just love this place. If you're in Tokyo and you want to buy souvenirs for your friends, just come here and you're gonna spend shitloads of money because all this stuff is really, really cute. Normally for geeky stuff you'd think Akihabara, but nowadays Akihabara is more like for old Kirby dudes than real kawaii stuff. So if you want kawaii in Tokyo, come here. I got you a present. You get to choose the bag. So really everybody's here in Tokyo Station. There's Ghibli, there's Moomins, uh, NHK, Sanrio, Hello Kitty, Tamagotchi, Lego, Pokemon. When I walk through this area, the kid in me is just so ecstatic. And there's Jumps, Jump Shop uh, by the publisher, Jump, who's responsible for manga such as Dragon Ball, One Piece, and all the other stuff. I believe next week is gonna be the, the premiere of the new season of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Super, is it? Let me know guys if you wanna see some Dragon Ball related stuff for that occasion because I guess everybody's excited for that, eh? Yeah. New season of Dragon Ball, eh? Yay! Dragons! Look! A Death Note musical, it's coming to Tokyo. And there's a Death Note related entertainment piece in Shibuya Station, let's see. <laughs> Mineral water and yogurina. It tastes like old yogurt with sugar. Bye. Um, visas will be done by Friday, he thinks. Really? Yeah, inspection's over. Oh my god! Okay. Time to record my Polish madness. Powiedz mi swój najpiękniejszy. My favorite type of a YouTube show is the one you can make really quick. Some of you have been asking me about editing. I might go into this in the future, uh, but for now I would just like to say I'm using Adobe software, Adobe Premiere. The new version now with Adobe it's like you pay a subscription fee but then you get free updates. So it's not like you own a version of Adobe anymore. So yeah. 
Just remember that I'm at a Q-tip, so quick stop at the 100 yen store, which is like the dollar store in the US, except way, 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 way better. Even tools, I mean, where else in the world can you buy a hammer for a dollar? I also need to replant my basil soil for one dollar. House cleaning products, legit good ceramic plates for one dollar. One dollar! I forgot I've been meaning to buy one of these too. Hmm, sometimes I have a hard time opening jars. Now I'm just convincing myself I need things. I hate when my plate's too hot. Kitchen utensils, but yeah. She get this. Hmm, the humidifying sheet for a futon. Notebooks, craft supplies, and fun erasers. These cost like 500 yen in other stores, but here they're just a dollar. Insect repelling bracelets. I hate mosquito season in Japan. Cookies and treats. These are various summer things. So summer's really hot here, so they have these cooling sheets for your face, sweat protectors for your jackets, a face mask holder, so you put this over your face mask so your face mask stays in place. I don't know, is that really necessary? Oh my gosh, where are the Q-tips? If I don't find them soon, I'm gonna buy everything else here. All right, biggest size, because it's all one dollar. Wet tissues, Hello Kitty wet tissues. Kumamon wet tissues, even haircut scissors and haircut supplies, anpanman curry, and all other types of varieties of curry. Spices. All right, time to get food because something smells like pizza, and that's what I originally came out to do. Late dinner at Taco Bell. When this place first opened in April, the end of April, there were lines, like three hour lines. Fajita burrito with nacho chips and cheese on the side from my nacho chips. Over here a meal costs about $8, whereas in the US you can get a meal from Taco Bell for like $3.